All right, so painting texture is one thing. And actually, painting texture is a smart idea because it allows for a variance and change. If you don't have that variance, it looks very flat as artwork goes. But what I'm going to do is open up something on my hard drive, just randomly going... Boy, I shouldn't be randomly going anywhere because i got a lot of space here. So I'm going to choose to plug in my nice little drive using USB 2.0 okay which I should have done before I started the video but that's alright that's alright new hardware found ah, there we go G play Okay, so some textures. Well, now being an artist, you you get a lot of textures in your lifetime. Being a 3D artist, you get even more. And being a photographer, you even get more than that. So, well, let's see what I got here. I got red creature, animals, eyes, those animal eyes. Let's go into something like alien organic and I'll choose something in here that makes a lot of bumps ah there's a go okay so there I, I have this texture that looks like alien skin and I want to apply that to my little goblin guy for some reason so I just go in here and dr click and drag that over now what you're gonna find out is it has a very large difference from your guy and let's pretend for instance that I have the guy all painted one thing you have to do is account for scale of the texture okay so those texture that scale range is a little bit too big so I'm gonna scale that down Okay, and then hit the move tool and then take this and make it a different kind so over here I'm going to choose something a little bit different and I don't want to go too dark in fact that soft light works really well now the texture however looks like it's been plastered on there in some manner so what I want to do here is go to image no edit and transform and then go warp because warp allows me to make it so this warps around this area okay so I can kinda warp this around making a little bit more round area for that texture to sit on so a lot of times I'll bring in this texture several times and then warp it around and then warp it around compared to um, the shape of my eye so I'm going to kind of match this to my eye like this Okay, and not really worried about you know where it's falling off at. I'm gonna kind of put it at a clip though, because this clip will cover it over, and I could do the next piece if I wanted to over there. All right, so I'll apply that, and again, just like I did in the previous video, this layer right here, well now that it's three layers down, has all the good stuff. It's like that one layer that has the one area to select, and using this. I can go select inverse and then hit delete okay so there we go even more detail now I got textures in there on top of painted textures on top of variants on that texture so what more could I do to it well now it starts getting to the past where 
do you want it to look like a painting or do you want it to look like a comic book? Okay, I wouldn't go past this point because what will happen is that's a different road. That's digital painting, not comic books. So that's going to be in a later chapter. Now, what I want to do is basically uh, kind of look at this and maybe for a second see if I can figure out any more tips and tricks that I can give you along the way to make this a little bit more detailed but not destroying the character. So it's going to take me some time to actually paint out the character and I'll get back with you in later videos in this segment. Again, enjoy the tutorial.